Hello, in this presentation I will talk about the present, past and future of robotics. The aim of the presentation is to introduce robotic systems from a historical perspective, from the origins of robotics to the first robots created in the middle of the last century, the robots of the end of the century and the beginning of this century, as well as robots that we consider that will be the robots of the future. The ultimate goal is to provide a vision of where we come from or came from, where we are and where we are going in robotics. Robots started out as simple semi-automated machines such as those found in clocks, music boxes and certain coordinated automatisms. However, since these are nothing more than simple automated machines, we will not properly consider them as robots. In fact, the term robot, and therefore also robotics, was coined by a Czech novelist with uh, the Czech's origins meaning slave. It appeared in his science fiction book Rossum Universal Robot in which machines with a human aspect do not or do the work that humans uh, didn't want to do. Shortly after, in the movie Metropolis, we could find the first film with a robot with human aspect in, and also in 1950, Isaac Asimov postulated the three laws of robotics in the book iRobot, which made robotics very popular. Robot, as we know them, in the mid of the 20th century, uh, started in 1948 with uh, William Gray Walter, who built a bulk driven mobile robot that became, or they, they became known as the Bristol Turtles because of their appearance. In 1954, the first programmable industrial robot was created and patented by George Devil, which established the foundations for industrial robotics as we now them nowadays. In 1966, uh, George Devil, together with the businessman, founded the first robotic company, Unimation, and installed Unimate robots on the assembly production line of the General Motors company. Later, in the 80s, the company Unimation created the Puma robot, which was one of the most popular models at that time that included an inline wrist. It had three series, the 200, 500 and 700, being the 500 series the most popular one due to its appropriate size for numerous industrial applications. At the end of the 20th century, robots became increasingly popular. In the, uh, in the industrial field, uh, the number of companies manufacturing industrial robots began to grow, as is the case in Europe of ABB, KUKA, Stobli, but also in Japan, companies such as Fanuc, Kawasaki, Kaskawa, among others. We can also find a large number of applications for robotics outside the industrial field, for instance, uh, autonomous mobile platforms such as Pioneer Robot, equipped with ultrasound sensors, humanoid robots such as those created by the Honda, such as the P2 model, robotic toys such as the Ivo robot created by the Sony company, and some are some of the most representative robots by the end of the century. At the beginning of the 21st century, we can find a large number of human robots that had popularized robotics, starting with Simo, the Honda robot that amazed the world for its advanced capabilities and the fact that was kept in secret for over 20 years. Because Honda did not want the world to witness their progress and also the failures. The Aiko robot is a robot with a height of only one meter, with the appearance of a robotic child created at the end of the first decade of the century. InMove robot is the first 3D printable human sized uh, uh, robot, and this is an open source project that aims to promote the use of 3D printers and robotics. Also, at the beginning of the 21st century, we find robots such as the Canadarm2, 
which is one of the longest robotic arms in the world used on the International Space Station, or also the Spirit and Opportunity robots, two explorer robots created by NASA for Mars exploration, or the UAV Predator, the first drone with autonomous flight capacity created in, in the year 2000. The DARPA competition is one of the most advanced and demanding competitions and it is promoted by the US Department of Defense. In its first edition, research groups from the most pioneering universities together with uh, some sponsoring companies participated in the Grand Challenge, consisting of driving autonomously up to 150 kilometers. As you can see, the vehicles included a great amount of sensors such as camera, radar, leader, GPS, among others. In the 21st century, we have seen how robots have become part of our daily lives, being able to safely interact with them, as is the case of collaborative robots, such as, for example, the UR3 robot. We have also learned the principles of robotics with uh, low-cost educational robots of all kinds, such as Bitbit robot, UARM, that most uh, basically popularized the robotics and also due to the uh, popularization of low-cost electronics components based mostly on Arduino. We have uh, also allowed uh, cleaning robots to clean our homes and perform some household cures that we don't like. Assistive robots take care of us, providing us the required attention and care, particularly to elderly people. Exoskeletons and robotics prosthetics uh, have allowed us to recover lost functionalities of our extremities or limbs as a consequence of a trauma or, let's say, a brain damage. This leads us to think about what's the future of robotics. The truth is that no one knows, but without doubt, the robots that I include here, they are not the future, they are today's robots. And will be, or they are considered one of the most advanced uh, robot applications, and also they will be inspired future applications. Sophia Robot has been the first robot in the world that have obtained a nationality. Her artificial intelligence is very advanced and she is learning how to interact with humans under her humble robotic condition, obviously. Perhaps the future of robotics is the combination of robot, a robot and humans, also known as cyborgs. This is something uh, that as society we are already prepared for, but not obviously without some controversy. The use of technology to improve humans is undoubtedly one of the directions in which robotics will advance in the future. Also, in the creation of robots completely different from the ones we know nowadays. For instance, soft robotics. They seek to create fully flexible robots with soft actuators that can interact with the world without damaging it. And finally, also for instance, nanorobots that are nanoscale robots that are used in medical applications as a cure to some diseases. It is a field obviously under development but also with some controversy. Well, in this presentation I have reviewed some historical perspective robotics, also the robots that we have in the present but also discuss what will be the robots in the future. Thank you very much.